Okay, so if you're someone who likes going out with their camera, snapping some pics of, well, whatever you like snapping pics of, but you feel like your pictures could be a little bit better, maybe they're just missing something. Well, there's a good chance the topic we're about to chat about in this video is the reason why you feel your pics just aren't as good as they could be. And hopefully we can help you fix that. Just a sad little tripod. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We are currently on the roof of this building that we're staying in and the view is, it's a solid 10 out of 10. It is epic. You want to see? Show them the view. Look at that. City here, greenery here. The airport is also over here, and then straight into the sun, we have sunset over here. What is the biggest beginner photography mistake you might ask? What is that one thing that you need to do or that you need to think about in order to make your photos just that little bit better? Well, the biggest mistake that beginners make is actually probably something you don't even realize you're doing wrong. And it all comes down to composition. And to simplify what composition is, it more or less means where your subject is located within the frame. So, in other words, what Chris is actually doing right now behind the camera is framing me right here on screen, whereas you could frame me here, but that doesn't look as good as framing me here. Or it could look really <laughs> bad and I could frame you here, here with a wall in the background. <laughs> Now, could we go up there to take our pick? <laughs> right up along there somewhere. <laughs> That'll be interesting. I'm going to blow away! Not great for the mic. This is very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's completely forget about the camera that you're using or even all of those settings uh, that you have to go through in your camera because that doesn't matter. Composition is the most important thing and if you get that wrong then the picture probably isn't going to be any good anyway. So let's talk about framing. Framing is the base of your photo, it's the foundation of your whole photo and there are a few little tips and a few little tools that you can use to master your framing. So one of the best ways to help you with your framing when you're videoing or taking pictures is to use the rule of thirds. And you can actually just turn this on in your camera to make things easy. Just like this right now. This is the rule of thirds. This little grid. So yeah, just go to your settings, turn it on. There is actually quite a few variations of them little grids, but I think the rule of thirds grid is probably the simplest and probably the easiest way to get everything right. So instead of always just placing your subject in the center of the frame, if you're taking a portrait of someone, just placing their head right in the center, which may, seem, which may seem like the right thing to do, and it's not completely wrong, but it yeah, can get... it does look good sometimes. Sometimes it, it is the best thing to do, but yeah. a lot of the time, it is kind of boring to look at. And also, you can't see anything in the background. 
So by using the rule of thirds and the lines, you can actually use the little lines where they meet. So on either side, and place your subject there, which leaves a little bit of space in the frame and actually draws the viewer's eye towards the subject. Looks better, nicer on the eye. Make sense? This view is actually just ridiculous. Insane. So nice to just be able to come up here and just see everything. But do you know what's funny? There's literally everything in this one view. There's city, we, we there's have a, mountains, yeah. there's sea, there's greenery. It's just great. Really it's pretty ideal. I would like a coffee though, but <laughs> besides that, pretty good. But anyway, yeah, so you can actually see from a lot of the pictures that we take that we actually implement what we're saying with the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds and placing subjects in different areas of the picture just because it works. So here's a few examples. This one and this one. Just a few, we pretty much use it all the time. So another thing that you can do to frame your subject nicely is to use leading lines. And this is probably one of Chris's favorite techniques. It sure is. Also, you may have noticed now that we were actually wearing the same oh, pair yeah. of glasses. <laughs> Taking turns, because I don't have any and it's super bright. We're losing light, goddammit! So to explain this a little bit more, this is where natural lines in a photo are just used to frame the subject. So for example, if you're standing at the end of a pathway, looking down a pathway and somebody just walks past, the pathway kind of leads to them. So the eye is led by the path to the subject. Yeah. And you can also kind of use it with like door frames, hallways, fences, using the area to kind of lead into your subject, if that makes sense. Yes, sir. That makes sense to me. Hey, there's a helicopter. That's fine. Go, go, go. Get it. Just to show how high this roof top deck actually is, there is a helicopter. Now that is cool. <laughs> if you still don't quite understand what I mean, just know that it looks pretty damn good. Here's a few examples. So as you can see from these photos, we kind of use the natural lines in the scene to try and draw your eye to the subject. And I think it looks pretty damn good. If you disagree, feel free to drop a comment <laughs> below and explain why. <laughs> we what? are losing light. Taking all of those things into account, what we just talked about, you'll realize that it's important to give your subject space. And that is the last little tip that we have for you in regards to composition, is to give a little bit of space in the frame. And this will be for many different reasons. It allows you to give your photo a little bit of context. So if you have a photo and it's like really zoomed up, into somebody's face or they're just their body is taking up the whole frame you don't really see a lot else and that's not really a good thing because you want to give context to what you're actually taking a picture of also giving a little space allows you to kind of see what the scale is of the picture as well so think about for example if you have a picture of a mountain or or a waterfall for example you can't really imagine what size it is or what you're actually looking at until you see something else that gives you an idea of the scale. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's that. So there you have it. Some little tips and tricks for you to use to master the composition in your photos. If you're a beginner photographer, and you're trying to figure out how to make your photos better, then use these tips, they will definitely help you. It, it's literally one of those tips that can make or break a photo and by applying it to your photos, 
you will opt them big time and you'll notice it. So go out and try it. Yeah. Let us know if you want to send in some pics, feel free to DM us on Instagram or something. If you have um, an Instagram yeah. account, tag us in your pictures. That would be cool so we can see them. Yeah, so hopefully that helped guys. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. We will be doing more. If you guys like these little kind of tutorial tips, let tutorial, tutorial tips. tips, little tutorial videos where we can kind of <laughs> let you guys know about what the little learned. things that we've learned over yeah. the past couple of years of taking photos. We're not experts, we've got a lot more to learn, but yeah. we've learned a lot. So we'll pass it on to you guys and yeah. Yeah, things that we kind of wish we knew sooner when we started photography. Everybody wishes they knew everything when exactly. they started, but it's certainly not possible. Another thing guys is if you haven't hit that subscribe button, we would really, really appreciate if you did right down here, down below, because we are pushing for 25K. Sure are. Anyway, we're gonna try and take a photo before the sun completely sets. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully enjoy this one. And as we always say, take it easy. Don't be a stranger.